Yes sir, yes sir, yes sir, it's your boy DJ Switch the Mixed Up King, if you don't know, now you know, we're coming to live, well not live, well we're live, <laughs> yeah, but when you see this, yo, we're coming to Basho Uhuru, it's happening out at Constitution Hill, and yo man, we on 100 episodes, motherfuckers, Brrr, yo, you add the claps, you add the whole two, 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 yeah, actually we can't use that now, you know what I mean, and uh, yo, we're pulling some artists off the stage, and it's all about the Freedom Festival, and uh, we're, actually, we're actually now broadcasting out of a caravan, which is kind of wild, you know what wild. I mean? It is kind of wild, right? Uh, and you know, I forgot the name of the caravan. Eh, they're gonna fire me. <laughs> All right, so we'll tell you a little bit later what it is. But um, yeah, we're chilling out with none other than Balwan stuff, and uh, he's one of the artists that's just sort of come off stage. And yo, we're just gonna hear about his brand new stuff. You were on the other podcast when I saw you out at MCO. Hey, you were yes, out at Sobering. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, you're out at Sobering. Tell us about the new shit that's coming out because we want to hear about the new stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so brand new album. Yeah. Brand new. Me and my shit is autobiographical, bro. So okay. it's really a documentation of where I am. I turn 29 and I turn 29 tomorrow. What? I turn 29 tomorrow. Wow. Next year. When this is, you would have been, you are yeah. already 29. So 30th ha- of June. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> happy <laughs> birthday. Thank you, brother. Yeah, we, that means you actually close off youth month. Yeah, that's me, bro. I'm like, I, even me, I'm closing <laughs> off my youth now, bro. Oh. It's almost over for me. I don't know. I don't know about you, bro. I'm so 27 out here. You know what I mean? <laughs> I like that. I like that. I'm so 27 out here. Yeah. All right, so who is Bailuan? So for people who don't know out there, yeah. who is he? The, yeah. the, obviously, you're here with the live band. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and also tell us why is it so important to do live shows as opposed yeah. to just doing like, you know, I mean, a lot of artists want to be out there in the yeah. club doing like, you know, their studio shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when it comes to like stages like this yeah, and you yeah. have to perform for audience open air, yeah. now you got to come with a band. you got to no, come with a drama. Bro. Like absolutely. how important is it? And don't forget, tell us about the music. So, name is Brian Luanster. I'm from Kokstad, KZN. Kokstad? Uh, yes, sir, on the border of Eastern Cape and KZN, but we're in KZN. Bunch of closer people. First time I heard a Zulu accent, I was like, wait, hey, what is going on? <laughs> yeah, but then we're in KZN, right. you know what I'm saying? So, made my way to Joburg because this is where it's at. And yeah, now we're out here, bro. We've got this residency every Wednesday in Rosebank, performing every Wednesday. So I'm in the Fire. gym every Wednesday. We started in January last year. We just okay. did 71 weeks. What? So every time we get booked for a gig, it's our opportunity to, to kind flex. of flex. Because yeah. when you're in the gym, bro, you don't know how, how much you can lift until you knock someone bro, right out by mistake. You said 71 weeks. 71 weeks every Wednesday since January 2023, performing every what? Wednesday, bro. Bro, okay, so now I'm going to ask you another thing, right? So, yeah. we, so in South Africa, we don't have a culture of live performances right you, yeah. and like if you go to europe there's those kind of things it's if you go, yeah. yeah it's it's a thing that's there but we don't have a, a culture where you have a residency yeah. 71 weeks 71 weeks but nobody asks for live music on a wednesday but when we started doing it that's crazy you, and the way people show up bro it's like you know people clearly need because people are showing up in their work so, outfits bro the, oh, the only thing oh so that's like if you're going to be at what's this place in rosebank where all the over 40s chill out What's this place where Rasta sure. Rebels always perform at? Uh, is it not? Not safe. Catsies. Yeah, probably Catsies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. So, and I mean, that's like a big thing, right? I mean, like those guys have been performing live. Yeah. Yo, since. Yeah, I don't. I, if I told you how old, if you don't know who uh, Dr. Victor and the Rasta Rebels are, go do your research, yeah. motherfuckers. You know, it's like a thing, like, and that's such a thing to flex. Seventy-one weeks, dog. That's yeah, bro. In, that's insane. Yeah, bro. And I like to say, bro, you can't hold a Spotify, you can't hold an Apple Music. How do we engage with people in real life in the digital age? And we've thought that live music is really where it's at because it's an experience. And one of my business partners, amongst the people I know, or Tebza, he sure. he says that you know, live is really where you win people over is yeah Kendrick said it himself bro like we're not in the music business we're in the human business yeah like, we do live music yeah we gotta get claps for that about yeah, to hear bro. that shit we're not huh? in the music business we're in the human business yo and every opportunity on a Wednesday we get to interact with people right and then we leave there bro with like five followers that pop up the next day because people have now decided that same moment that we're gonna follow this guy we're gonna fuck with his journey and whatnot you know so straight yeah bro I feel like a lot of homies don't know how to perform because they don't do it enough and I'm yeah. not, and we decide we're not gonna wait to be booked, bro. Right. We're gonna perform, and then when the booking comes in, it's just an addition. Yo, that, you know that's what, what I always say. If you're not getting booked, book yourself. Exactly, bro. And I mentioned every Wednesday switch, 71 weeks, bro. In Damn. my mind, in my mind, I'm Damn. the best performer right now, bro. Yo, we're gonna be giving claps out here, a lot of them. <laughs> Sheesh. Yo, man, yeah. that, you know that's impressive, man, because. Um, you know, and, and I speak to a lot of some of these kids and we're going to do something, uh, you know, obviously I've got my live event called Shoot Your Shot. Yeah, 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 and uh, yeah. we want to get, we're going to do a, a Shoot Your Shot unplug. Yeah, you're hearing it first. We're, we're dropping a lot of new things we're going to do uh, coming out of this 100th episode. Uh, we're going to do Unplugged for up and coming artists. Nice, nice. Because 
I think it's part of the journey. They gotta learn to elevate. Some people start off with a live band. Some people just start off with a DJ. And you gotta fail fast, bro. Yo, you gotta fail forward. You gotta, forward. Get booed. Like, you gotta like, fail forward. AKA says on congratulate. Even got booed off stage. Now he's one. He was one of the best performers in South African. Yo, R.I.P. Man, but he set the standard bro, he though. Really did. So when we come through with the band, bro, it's like okay, cool. We made the song in the studio. Right. How do you now translate these energies right. to other musicians? And you find yourself right. writing new parts in live, bro. So it's it's like a new chapter. You okay, what neglect? Right. What's what's the new music we gotta look out for right now? So there's an album called The Chip Is Stale. You chip know, is stale. Long, the chip is stale. The chip is because stale. Because I've got chips on my shoulder and I had to get rid of them. And I, I thought I thought music. you were talking like slap chips and maybe a, <laughs> maybe a half a loaf. Hey man, and then, it, and it's like, it and then someone's <laughs> like, they couldn't afford. So now this, 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 this sta- the chips is crack. <laughs> the chips is crack stale <laughs> now. <laughs> so now it's like we're struggling out here. It's still edible though, but don't do it. Don't kids. Let those hey, I don't know. I might, I might even hit those chips <laughs> after if I don't want to cook one night. <laughs> and I've been holding them there and my, and my paws in the fridge. I'll be like, hey, maybe just quit some young chakalaka, tomato sauce, grand. So it says cool? Uh, it's called The Chip is Stale. Chip is Stale. We just launched. We just got like, because on the cover art, it's a red cover art with the word The Chip is Stale. Right. And then there's me leaning on my Opal Corsa like 2005. And you then still, we, you have it. I still have it. We started rolling out this album in on the 29th of June and around March guess who hit us up bro Opal no way you're gonna get, get an Adam bro I'm driving a Mocha right now an Opal Mocha Yo, you gotta pay for that you gotta pay for oh, that yeah. place I mean I don't know what you come on you gotta you pay know, for that place say, we're gonna censor them we're gonna censor them but I'm <laughs> yeah. driving hey, don't, hey, don't, sp- yo, don't spill in our table out here hey, yo, hey, yo. My, don't bad, sp- my bad OG <laughs> <laughs> don't spill our table out here <laughs> alright so chip is the, the chip is still yeah. it's out right now right now by lost uh, new chapter new part of my life fire fire yeah. fire and I yes, think we, got, we gotta get you even if we even if this is the podcast we'll get you on a proper podcast I think we're just here for the vibe we're here at Basha Uhuru Happening Art of Constitution here We're gonna yeah. get a bunch of artists in here We're having some drinks We're just chilling out here We normally don't drink on the show But yo We gotta celebrate It's a hundred episodes We did this <laughs> bu, 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 bu. Yo we did this Shout out to Untitled Network Shout out to the crew that's out here Shout out to everybody Yo I gotta get the name of the damn caravan Bro sh- can I tell you something Yes sir Man it's a celebration we're pulling up on 30, so we've got to park these 20s at the station. We can still kick it at Great Dane if it makes sense. But if you're still chasing these little kids, we can't stay friends. All these events that we attend, yeah, they pay rent. We meet the promoter and we exchange tents. Then take shots like high five gents. Then we see where this night ends As long as I'll be sleeping in my bed And I'm just really grateful for time spent uh-huh. The luxury of building something new Something high end But yeah. we had to start fresh My good brother's two year old's about to go start crash man That hey. boy's blessed Cause his father's one of the best people you meet bruh In a city like this My two brothers also super legit Both two kids But they still make time for the kid I'm really fortunate And guess what They never forget They'll tell you please say the bye Please say the bye Open up your eyes bruh We're not the right click to minimize Fuck these other guys Guys, we walk in the room, give you butterflies, then mm. so we leave. It's like the sun at night. Put away your pride, come give me a hug. We gonna be alright, don't wanna no stress. It's part of the process. I'm a fucking notorious podcast return guest. It's Ish. always good to talk about the progress, cause we always do shit. Yo, yeah, damn. Yo, we supposed to be having our claps right now. Shit. <laughs> Yo, by the way, sir, thank you so much, my brother. brother thank, thank you for thank coming for through. Me. Yo, man, we gotta got we got a lot of guests coming through. Yeah. We got. Um, Jabba Joe, we got Solo, we just got off stage right now. We're hanging out at Basha Uhuru. Yo, if you don't know, do your research. All about up and coming artists. And yo, there's a lot of well, well known artists here. There's couples as small. We got Nadia Nakai. Yo, hopefully we get Nadia. Yo, yeah. I, I normally call Nadia naked because these days yo, she's always <laughs> naked. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. But yo, we'll be back. In the meantime, enjoy the show. By the way, we're taking out with Buzz it's from Candle Stoners, and uh, I've, I've met these guys before. They got a great product. It's really cool. I enjoy edibles, especially if you struggle with sleep, anxiety, stress. Yes, yes. I wouldn't say depression because, yo, actually depression too because it's an uplift, right? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's calming. It's relaxing. You know, you can also use it for when you have insomnia. So yeah, it, it does yeah. relax you. I know, bro. I have a lot of insomnia. And I use that just to sleep to get through the night, and sometimes it's good. You don't even have to use alcohol because alcohol is more of a, it's a depressant yes, as opposed yes. to, you know, uh, THC and CBD that lifts you up and, and calms yeah, you more than, yeah, yeah. yeah stimulate, right? Yeah. If someone was to buy a good joint, what's a good joint? Well, I like greenhouse, but a lot of people like indoor, you know. For me, uh, Jack Hara is a good strain for me. I like that because uh, I'm a creative, so I use it, you know, to, to when I design and stuff and for creativity 
In other words, you need to get high as a motherfucker while you, if you want to get creative, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so, like I said, yo, we're going to be getting artists coming through here in and out of the stage. It is about that time. we got none other than Solo from the Better Gang. Yes, Come sir. on, like. Yes, sir. Bro, yo, normally we'd have, like, claps clapping for you. Yeah, yeah. Like, our virtual audience. Look, we out here. Yeah, we out here, but, yeah. yo, welcome back, dog. Thank you, King. You Thank just you, King. Okay, so when this episode drops, you just dropped your brand new album. Yeah. Right? Uh, the, the name of it? The God Anomaly. The God Anomaly. What is that about, bro? So, bro, um, essentially, when you say welcome back, right? Because right. I've been gone for a good, what is it, four years. Dog. Right? Uh, but that's honestly because there was a lot of stuff that needed to be figured out, bro. Yeah. You know, I think the, what I like to call the interruption, you know, right. like COVID and that whole time. Was it know? personally? Was it like personal? Personally. Personally, for sure. A lot of mental stuff. A lot of mental stuff, right? Bro. Um, and I, I just think I needed to work through a lot of those things. Yeah. You know. Um, and then I also needed to, I need to, I needed to answer the why again. Why am I even shout doing out, this? Yo, you we know need claps I mean? for that one right there. You know no, what I mean? legit, man. Because sometimes you find yourself just like repeating stuff. You're just doing it over and over again, but yeah. you, you find that you can't answer the why anymore. Straight. You know, and and why is completely connected to purpose. So it's like, yo, man, if you can't answer that, then what are we even doing? Yo, that's what we're on a hundred episodes right now. That's you know what, what I'm saying? But you see what I'm saying? And I think, you know, you you have fuel to keep going if right. you if you know where you're going, if you can Straight. answer the why. And I needed to do that, man. I needed to just con- reconnect with that. And uh, and that's how the God Anomaly was birthed. Because also, I mean, we we've been working it for two and a half years. <sighs> 10 songs, two and a half years. Now, a lot of people who don't know who Solo is, I mean, like, yo, you've always been with, with the, you always with the live act, you always yeah. love performing with the, the live uh, acoustics, sure, the, um, the authenticity of it. Why is it so important? Especially, like, you know, when you're doing festivals like this, because yeah. um, now a lot of new artists are coming up and they just like, yo, we're going to go to the club, we rock two songs exactly. with the DJ, and it's done. And, and to I mean, be fair to them, man, like, we gave them that blueprint, you know sure, what I mean? Like, sure. my... You know what I mean? My tier, my group. Right. It's kind of how we, we hustled it just in terms of right. emotion. You know what right. I mean? Like, hey, hit the clubs in Joburg, then Cape Town, then Durban, then Joburg. Right. Just hit that. Right. You know, keep keep doing that circuit. Right. Uh, but for me, dude, it was always the it was the layers in our music that yeah. I didn't want to be lost, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's a, there's a difference between, like, you know what I mean? Just a mustard file that's just now this one stereo thing versus being able to manipulate something else when you're live in front of sure. people. You I know? mean, from your show, I feel you've, you've brought it a lot to the home. You've brought it home, home. I have, bro. Like, you really, you really dug into your roots yeah. um, from where you come from, your tribe. Sure. You've really just you're really just touching on those things. So yeah, man. And it's like and, and obviously it's it's obviously part of your journey. Absolutely. And it's like, you know, how you've come from solo the better. Is your brother still playing with you guys? Uh Solid the Gifted. Yeah. Solid the Gifted is still in the band. The better gang is still the better gang, bro. Yo, you gotta check out the better gang. Solid the better. Check out the old stuff. Yeah. And compare it to new stuff. Like you, you don't understand. Like it's it's cool that we're getting the you know homie on the, on the show. You know, <laughs> that's how we roll out here. Yeah, you know, yes, put sir. me on switch right here. And um, you know, like I said, we're coming from Basho Uhuru, and it's all about incubation and 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 artist development and helping people get out get yeah. onto platforms like this, stages like this, yeah. especially in festivals like this. For sure. Um, and I mean, you're like at home at this shit. Exactly. This is everything we've practiced, dog, for years. But but I think also, you know, you don't take it lightly. It's, yeah. It's the it's the moment. It's the opportunity to. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, for the fact that like Basho who keeps doing this means they keep acknowledging right. bands like us. You Straight. know. So that's a very big deal for us, man. Um, yeah. Yeah. So we come correct. The new album, God Anomaly. The God Anomaly. What what, what 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 joints should we look out for? Sure. So there's a there's a record called Separate the Rams. Um, has a fire music video if I do say so myself. Okay. Uh, there's a track called Indela, which uh, we just kind of made like the priority record. Um, yeah, dude. And then the the actual track, the God Anomaly, it's the right. closing track on the right. album. I think it it really just kind of um, cements why the God Anomaly. Yeah. You know. And I mean, you know, you know, you know, we always speak. So we have these workshops and stuff, and I always speak about how you know old school guys have got an upper hand because they're using traditional uh, marketing versus digital marketing. Yeah. And uh, you did a listening session. It was quite intimate. Obviously, we weren't invited. We saw okay swish up in there, but we weren't invited. I'm just let's, saying. Let's. I'm just saying. Yo, let's bygones be bygones, right? Hey, man. <laughs> Relax, my bro. I have a whole, I have a whole vinyl for you. 
that I have no as a DJ pack, bro. I need you to sign it. Oh, I saw this. You gave it to Capital. I saw it. I have Yo, yours here, bro. Shout out. Yo, you got to see this shit, right? <laughs> you got to see it. Yo, by the way, that's your camera with it. Oh, we, shout We're in different right spaces got now, you. Cool, cool, cool. Right? Yo, I saw that. Yeah, bro. And I'm like, Taban, we didn't get invited, first of all. And first of all, Capital got one, but I didn't. Yo, the mixtape team didn't get one. My so, dog, bro, I have yours. That's what I'm saying to you. He's gonna bring it out here. Nah, you better I sign it. it you. I, you better I, sign it. Say less, my And dog. it's like, even if the band members can sign it, yo, want I got it. You, bro. So we can have it for our studio, we can yeah, have it for please. our archives. And it's so cool, you put the barcode on there, you can go yeah, download bro, it. So and you can download stuff. the DJ pack. So and we're just gonna keep amazing. adding to that same one, bro. So, it's so creative. You know, I wanna, ma- I wanna make your job also easier, you right, know? Like, right. Dog, the number of times DJs have to beg and right. beg and right. beg for DJ packs, you know? Yo. So I just figured, you know what? Let me also just. You know, and also do it Think creatively, yeah. you know what I mean? Because I call the whole concept Break the Record, ah, you know? We need some claps on that shit. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, so uh, yeah, I've definitely got yours, bro. Tell uh, me, um, you do you me. think our artists today are creative? Are they are they expanding on, on all the resources they have? Do they, do they use it? Can I be honest with you and say, for me, the, the pace of my career forced me to be creative right right if things just worked immediately for me maybe i would have been a little more lax and been like oh well i guess things come automatic mm. stuff never came automatic straight, straight straight so as a result it meant i had to like hone different skill sets right you know tap into you know levels of marketing and all these different things you gotta learn all these you have things, to learn right? all the skills bro right. and now in retrospect i look back and i'm like yo i'm glad the pace was what it is because right. now dog I perform live. I play. I play bass I while I'm the, I'm the like, lead. You know, out here with a black bass, looking like no, Jimi Hendrix. Out here. That's what I'm shit. telling you. That's what I'm telling you. That's that's the level of like having to like hone in on different elements. Yeah. Uh, and be creative because of that. And I say that to say to new artists, don't chase a pace that isn't yours, man. Sheesh. Don't look at others and go, no, nah, man. Apparently, you know. If you don't break in one year, it's over. Don't, yo, man, silence the noise, man. Focus, focus on, it's the art first. Yo, we're Guys, getting bars please, right bro. now, we're getting bars. Yo, you better be dropping claps in the shit. Yo, bro, trust me. Up. Yo, switch, I'm OG status now, bro. Yo, this is, for real, for real. I, I, legit, bro, so it, it's, and it's, and I think it's important. I have to give that, this game, bro. It's very, yo, it's, it's free very right now. It. Rather, bro, have it. Have it, you know, but trust yourself as an artist, man. I think that's the shout out to you. Love the foot, yo. Where'd you get that made out there? What you talking about? Port of LMG. This is this is me. This is my wife and myself. You know, we have a see what happens line. when you get married. Get, yeah, they're gonna look after you. You know what I mean? That's all I'm yo, saying, I man. see you out there. We have looking at yo, you. and don't and don't believe the hype, man. Yo, marriage is a beautiful thing, man. Hey, if you go if you go by Twitter standards, you think it's it's trash. It's not. Don't Shout out to the standards, yo. Solo in the better gang. Thank you so much, my brother. Thank you so much for Thank making you, time. Dog. Appreciate you, here. King. We out here, Basha Uhuru. Yo, we actually chilling out in the brief box. That's what the caravan's name is, and we're just making use of it. Yeah, sometimes you're gonna hear some clipping, but yo, it's just the vibe is out here. People are eating, people are drinking. Yo, I'm gonna drum got my drink on. Uh, yo, we're still celebrating Youth Month. This is a freedom, uh, freedom festival. Make sure you tune in, like, subscribe. Yo, you wanna hit us for free? Come on, bro. You know what I can do. I'm happy to give you one of my favorite verses from the God Anomaly. Yo, give it to if us. you don't give mind it. that. Give yeah? it, give it. I didn't ever mean to deviate. I was just following heart. I was attempting to play my position and put ingredients in pot. Wasn't trying to be overwhelming. But I am an acquired taste, bet I couldn't conform and live with regret See people like me, they get price on their heads I'm as high as it gets No point in wavering, I've got the patience of gods And the pace of a nova, strength of an ox Faith of a mustard seed, you can ask those that I keep in close company Talking the lot, I could be a lot I realize that energy carried by me could be overpowering And measuring his tunes is not very sick Nothing personal, this is that gift and that curse shit Now run your necklace and empty your purses Built up a reverence, I lost my purpose Fuck, I fumbled that line, bro. Yes, I'm coming sir, off stage. I, I apologize, yo. I appreciate King, I you, I appreciate bro. you, dog. I appreciate Thank you yo, so much. Yo, I have to give you that vinyl today. Don't yo. disappear without me giving you yo, that vinyl. Yo, we right here. You're right here. At, at the brief box. Cool, I'm going to bring it to the brief box. Thank you, my brother. Shout out, dog. Yo, we Congrats we, on 100 episodes, bro. Thank Not you so much. Yo, feet, bro. Give, give the shout outs right out, there. Yo, shout out, man. Yo, shout outs, man. We're going to be back. We've got some more acts, yo. We've got my looms out there. He's getting all the foxes. He's getting people out there in the crowd. We got we in the brief box. We're chilling. We're vibing. Yo, we're out here in Russia. Let's Uhuru. go. Freedom Festival. Let's get it. Hi.
this is Sunshine, and I want to say a big shout out to Put Me On Switch podcast for reaching the hundredth episode. Yes, so yes, so yes, so like I said, we out here at the festival. It's the Freedom Festival, Basha Uhuru, and we're chilling with one of the DJs that just came off his set right now, and we're chilling with Dora. Yeah, my brother. What does uh, what does thirty years of democracy and I would say sort of freedom mean? Because we are almost free, but we are not there yet. You understand? We are free, but we are, some of people are very dumb in this process. I think you said it better than me. I would have been more brutal. <laughs> um, but I think uh, in, in this specific context, uh, I think the 30 years of freedom has sort of allowed us uh, a bit more expression. Um, the 30 years of freedom has also brought... Uh, a new sense of things uh, from the youth's perspective. Yeah, I think there's th- there's certain things that we've gotten into right now that would not have been a dream to even the people before us. So um, we've kind of became. Um, uh, I'm trying to find a, a, a good way of putting it, but unintentional pioneers in certain spaces. Right, right. I think you should you would know a lot about that. <laughs> um, a, a lot of things that started off as passions. A lot of things yeah. that started off yeah. as um, uh, hobbies. Now, got, now it's now it's a business. Yeah, become businesses, and yeah. you know they are a livelihood. So I think with all the negative um, in, in in this specific context, the freedom has allowed us to express ourselves much better. And we, right. I think, this is one area where we've allowed um, culture. Uh, to be commercialized in, a, yeah. in, a, in, a, in a, an advantageous way, it becomes um, more of a front leader. It's, it becomes a front runner. Yeah, more than yeah, anything yeah, else, yeah, yeah. And so, th- yeah, sorry, just to catch you, I know you're getting a bit deep on here, bro. It's not that. <laughs> it's not that kind of political <laughs> shit, you know. It's that kind of interview. Let's <laughs> slow you down a little bit, bro. No, you asked a question. You asked it. <laughs> Who is Dota? Um, Dota is a is a DJ, graphic designer. Sounds like me. Uh, <laughs> And just all together, a, a, a love of fun things and good things. And yeah, what is what is DJ looking like for? I mean, right now this weekend that's happening here, we also have Afro Nation that's happening out yeah, in Portugal, yeah. and that is like it's an international South African festival that's happening overseas yeah, because so. the lineup is eighty percent. I'm a piano, right? Yeah. And it's like it's beautiful to witness. To watch it is like. Shit, guys! Yeah. Did you see what's happening there? But if we have that festival, do you think it's gonna have the same impact? Um, I think we it could. It's just the intention and follow up from there. But um, going back to what you initially asked, I think the DJ culture in South Africa has become also beautiful. Also beautiful. I like the energies. You right? I like that. I'm getting there. I like the energies. You're not booty shaking yet. <laughs> but <laughs> there's also the. It's been cheapened a bit. So Yo. I'm not trying to be controversial. Okay. But I'm just the five thousand. The five thousand from 2050 is not the same five thousand in 2024. The currency is not the same. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, and and the crazy thing is promoters don't want to come back with the same you know, yeah, yeah no the culture the culture to be very honest the culture is messed up um i also re- i always reference hip-hop djs and yeah, i'm gonna go back to people like you you know the 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 technique the skill right, right. even if it's not just being all frantic yeah, on the yeah, dance, flash, but yeah being about the music right. and that's why the dj was also a big part of the industry. That's why the DJ was uh, an A and R to be a cer- like to a certain degree. Always been. Right now, a lot of DJs, uh, especially after the advent of social media, DJs are uh, react to what <laughs> popular culture says. Right, right. Whereas it's supposed to be the other way around. You right. Know? I mean, look. Let's look. Let's take it back. Right. Uh, we're speaking about DJ culture. Uh, when Paris Hilton became a DJ, Wait. everyone was like, "What the fuck." But now it's like you look at Amapiano, and it was almost like, what the fuck? You initially you thought because it was, the, it was probably a phase, right? Because yeah, I thought it was a phase, like ah, this is gonna pass by, right? Yeah. Because now we got the baddie beds. They're all DJs right now. Let's not lie. Remixes and all. Oh, that's a, that's not a new thing though. Yeah, no, but it's, it's, it's there are people that could fake it then because they understood right. why. Right. Now they don't care. Um. What? Uh, so, you know, you sound like a purist. A lot of people don't know what purists are. So purist is like somebody who indulges in digging in the crates, 
looking for that gems yeah. um, also you know dabbling obviously we're in digital phase right now yeah. and, and it's great that the that the equipment it evolves it ev- evolves and we got involved with it right um, do you call yourself a purist um, I, I'm a purist at heart but someone who also understands the commercial side of things right uh, I'm not a purist that will remain on one side I also take heed of what the audience wants. Right. Uh, just to clarify that, I predominantly play like a down tempo lounge music, Yeah. but it's not to everyone's taste. So we've gotten to a bit of production as well. So we take a couple of cool jams, like your piano jams, flip yeah. them up and we get the crowd going. I think that's one way of bringing people closer to us. What is the difference between Glenn Zito's mid tempo <laughs> to I'm a piano today? Lock drum. <laughs> right? It's pretty much the same. It's pretty much. But I think the tempo and everything when is you exactly the same. Right? Yeah. But I mean, the sound is so. Okay, let's look at. Let's look at. Let's look at Glenn Zito's mid tempo. Like, that shit is. Yes, as if you played it now, you get goosebumps, right? I, 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 I think for those that were there around that time, especially when you're a DJ, that's a cheat code. Um, that, that, you could move from a hip hop set to a house set using just those jams Bro. and they make your life much 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 easier right right but then we, we are, then we're playing on, on record though we're not playing with cdj's yeah, yeah, yeah. and the cdj that time was like a cdj 100 <laughs> <laughs> you right? still have to go on mirror and burn the disc <laughs> yeah if you had a cd burner then for ama 2000s if you know what that is yeah go google it <laughs> so we're hanging out with my mans over here uh duda uh doda sorry yeah, doda yeah, yeah. Duda is the other guy from uh, Mikasa. There we go. Right, so we're hanging out with Doda. We were just playing on uh, the Basho Huru stage. Bro, festivals compared to clubs, it's a different scene, right? Yeah. For DJs, um, you got to be more prepared because you know the one thing, like people want to become DJs, but you only get there when you got the experience. And people book you on experience because it's just like going into a boxing match, right? When you go into training, you're sparring. At home, right? You're sparring now in your, in your controller. You're sparring. When you get to an audience, when you get to a line rig, gig, rig like this, it's a title fight. Yeah, it's like <laughs> we about to win a belt or we about to we about to lose right now. Yeah, I think I think the approach as well, and that's also a misunderstanding that people have. Where in, in a space we have p- people who, are, well, purists like me, um, some people come and try to. There are, there are certain spaces where you can be very abstract yeah. and open, but for festivals, also understanding who's on the same lineup as you, right. I think I also make sure that I know at the very least who's before and after. And yeah. I just, I no, just, we need some claps for that. I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we normally have claps, like you got a road cast and we hit claps. No, no, I felt in the spirit, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> we know Huru now, very <laughs> No, no, we don't actually do that. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you cancelled, you cancelled. <laughs> No, but um, I, I just try and be part of a whole right. instead of just sticking out for the, uh, for the sake of sticking out. Yeah. I think being part of the whole, you'll find your way within that to leave a mark. But um, especially when you play around live bands and all of that, I think you need to understand the flow of everything. So, yeah, it's it's uh, playing at festivals, playing at such events, it's, it's, it's totally different. Uh, I think you step your game up here. That's when you're really challenged as a DJ. Yeah. For all those like up and coming DJs, it's, it's, it's another thing of like, you got to step up and show who you really yeah. are. Like, whether it be a Switch, whether it be a, 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 a Dota, you got to like show like, is it really that dope? <laughs> and the big part of, about it is that you can prepare all you want at home and then just step on here and everything is you can completely get shook. different. You can get shook. You know. That's right. We're hanging out with Nana and Dota. We're out here at Bashu uh, Uhuru. Uh, by the way, if you check out the name Uhuru, it's actually from like, I think it's Kenya, no? Uhuru. Because also we have the group Uhuru. Yeah. And, the, and bro, they play their shit out there in Kenya and Tanzania. Like Uhuru is from there. Yeah, yeah. But ish, the abbreviation must get it before we come to the next interview so we can understand. <laughs> but this is the Freedom Festival. 12 years celebrating Basha Uhuru. A whole lot of crazy acts out here. And we're getting the interviews right here at the Brief Box. This is the caravan. Yo, it's the first time we're doing a pod. It feels like we're on radio, but we're not. 
We are right on the internet, you get me? Yo, it is DJ Switch, the Big Safe King. If you don't know, now you know, suckers. We on 100 episodes, mother suckers. Shout out to everybody for supporting us. We got Dota. Yo, we got also some, we also got Boy, uh, Boy Sansa coming through. Yeah, yeah. And we also got, uh, we got, we got Guy. We've also got uh, Jabba Joe. We've got Nadia Nakai. We've got Holy Ray. Yo, stay tuned, stay locked in. It's all coming to you live from here. Yo, shout out to everybody out there. Peace out. Yeah, shout out everyone. Thank you for continuing to support good music. I full bend it. I full bend it. I throw my bang bang down. I throw my book and down. Okay. I throw my damn net toes. I throw my pet to my coast. I bought another sour. What you bless for that Nami Kawa? I bought put us so long. Like I said, yo, we out, yo. We got our drinks up. We sipping. We nice with it. Uh, we, we just got one of those. Yo, I don't even know what it's saying. Is it, it, yo, I know this guy for so many years. He's come out of video production. He's still doing that. Now he's like a seasoned DJ, doing shows out at Cape Town Jazz Festival. Now he's out here at uh, uh, Basha Uhuru. And I'm like, it's just the sound, it's the aesthetics. It's the, it's sonically enhancing the audience, I would say. Yeah. Right, and not only that, it's part of a trio called Open Format. Yes, sir. Well, there's four of us. Uh, All right, four. Yeah, with another lady called uh, Diane. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell yeah. us about Open Format. Uh, so basically, as you know, open format is multi-genre, but your style is rooted in hip hop, right? Yeah. So that's what the actually wait a minute. Yeah. We didn't know that it should be rooted in hip hop. Yeah, no. Being we, we know open format. Open format is like you can just play whatever the fuck you want, yeah. but we got a vibe. But you sing it with a different twist. It's like you know, it's got to be rooted in hip hop. Yeah, for me, it's rooted in hip hop because first of all, hip hop is uh, it borrows from a lot of music. Right. Yeah, so hip hop takes from uh, from rock, jazz, funk, all of these musics. So the style of playing it and how we mix it is is how we play hip hop. Yeah. You know, uh, slamming the records, trick mixing, right? Doing all Scratching. that. Scratching. You know, yeah. All okay. the old school stuff which which you don't see today. Exactly. You know. Right. Exactly. And I mean, you guys hosting parties every like weekly, right? You yeah, always yeah. hosting parties. We always hosting parties Fridays. Uh, we are at Mama Gashagas, and then we're about to start a new Thursday out at uh, Hashmani. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. out in, uh, it's like Randburg side, yes, yeah? Yes, Ferndale vibes. Yeah. Craigle, Craigle, yeah, Craigle. Yeah, Craig. Actually, Blagory, sorry. Blagory, yeah, Blagory. Yeah, Blagory, yo. We upper, you know upper saying? echelon, man. Yeah, but yeah, like you're saying, man, I think it's, letting the music talk is the most important thing. Yeah. Because that's how everything is fluent and makes more sense. Because once you start to force things and not, and basically listening to your music and loving it and understanding it. Now, you know, between me and you, I know like this DJing thing like came after I started DJing and it started after you like left your nine to five yeah. and you became like a full-time entrepreneur, but the DJing now is giving you more of everything, more light, more, yes, more of everything, more life, you know? Yes, and I sir. think, you know, I'm, I'm speaking from just this thing of like uh, saving hip hop, you know? And I, and, and, and I always say like people who say they're going to save hip hop, it's like, bro, whether you hear or not, hip hop will save itself. You know what I'm saying? And I like, and now hip hop is giving you life. It's giving you a breath of fresh air. It's giving you coins. Yo, hip hop is what brought me here. Like I said, hip, if I didn't listen to hip hop, I wouldn't know all the stuff I play today. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because hip hop takes from that. So right. Hip hop took me to the old school, brings me to the new school. If if it wasn't for hip hop, what would you be doing? What would you doing? Because I always ask myself, like, if it wasn't for hip hop, what the fuck would I be doing? Hey, my man, I don't know. I don't. I can't imagine life without. <laughs> I hip-hop. might have been like a Majimbo or Scotane. You know? I, no, I can't, I can't imagine life. I can't imagine life. Like, I can't. I because can't. like it, it breeds like everybody gets reborn with with the genre, mm. especially with knowledge of self. We've got the four elements, and uh, we're in a space right now. Uh, B- Basho Hur is about creativity, right? Creatives coming together. Yeah. We've got artists out here. We've got designers. We've got people just starting up their own companies because it's all about up and coming. True. Yeah. Uh, mostly because also you know we're on a hundredth episode right now. Hey. Uh, about put me on switch. You know, shout dope, out to everybody dope, tuning dope, in. Dope. Shout out. Now we got DJs on here. We got. I want to do a proper DJ show, but it's cool that we got DJs on here for the first time. And uh, and, and it's cool that we've got creatives coming in this space. And we at the a a, a freedom festival for creatives. Yes, sir. Right. What does it mean to to have freedom? We don't have it, but what does freedom mean to you? Let me put it like this. Uh, There's look. We can look at freedom as the actual freedom being liberated and all that. But we don't got that. Yeah, yeah, it's not fully there. You know, we, we, we just, we got that. We're now in the G, GNU. We're in the matrix. <laughs> Straight up. You know, but for me, freedom is expression. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm able to express myself, if I'm able to do, um, if I'm able to express myself, if I'm able to do 
what I want and show people who I am. Don't worry. Yeah. It's just a bass out. I know, just man. That, on the shit. You know, that guy's killing it with the. Uh, it's, it's Holly Ray, man. Holly Ray, she's coming back and I'm gonna have to shout it. They were like, yo, you're killing nah. our damn podcast. Ba- Basha Uhuru, that's what we're doing now. Bashing shit out here you know? live. <laughs> so, yeah, for me, it's like being able to express myself even through the music. Right. To be able to show you who I am, that is freedom to me. To be able to play how I play. To be able to not to be uh, constricted by the rules of the, the masses. Of the, be, of the club scene, of the club scene, of the club scene, yeah. So for the club scene, right? Exactly. You know. So for me, that's why open format is a perfect platform. Me and my crew is, we play how we wanna play. You know, people connect to us through how we play instead of us trying to satisfy some. That's why my sets, I can go from anything old to new. It doesn't matter. It's just where it takes me. And and here's the thing, right? I see a lot of like with with the open format. Um, the thing is, is that. Hip hop DJs can they can migrate. They they chameleons. Yeah. So we can play anything from I'm a piano house, hip hop, funk, soul, uh, quieto like you're playing on your set right yeah. now. Jeez, you hammering it there. Yo, people were just like, when last do we hear this shit? Hey, man, I try <laughs> it's to. always the case though. Yeah, no, nostalgia is a great thing. Also memories. And I think maybe open format brings the nostalgia. Yeah. I say memories. Right. Music is a powerful too because it's connected to memories now i'm going to give you this thing right so this is a book it's called how to dj properly yeah. people are like there's a book to dj i'm like yeah there's a book to dj yeah. and and djing is evoked by emotion yeah. so the only reason why you can remember one dj or a song is because it evokes an emotion from a place exactly. of your emotion exactly and that's what the dj does exactly. and not everybody gets it yeah. that's how you that's how you operate as a dj you you got I op- operate with the ten, uh, ten year rule. You know, if I look at the crowd, I'm like, where were you ten years ago? What were you doing? Boom, let me give Yo, you that. Yo, we gotta put some claps on that. Just giving some gems at you. And I give you that, and you're like, damn, I was there with my homies doing right? that. Oh my goodness. So, so I mean, so how do you relate to like I'm a 2000s now? Because I mean, their ten years ago is not the same ten years you know. Definitely. Right? Uh, look, it's, as a DJ, you research. You go out yourself. Right. You go see the seed. You go see how people operate. Sure. You go see the party and see what people are partying to. Right. So I think by that you learn that, okay, cool. If they were here, because uh, I've got to look at it from the experience of the people, because we're in the club. So the people, where, you, where, were you, where were you when you left high school right. to get into university? You know, those moments, right, the trick right, dance. Right. You know, those. what, what were the songs sure. playing in that I era? mean, like, I mean, you know, and, and I, I speak to a lot of artists on the show, and they're always about, you know, they, they're making this, like, raging music. And, I mean, that's okay because that's the era. True. That's them right now. True. But it's like, when you get older, you're not going to rage no more. Exactly. You know, and obviously, the only music they're going to listen to is what stems from, like, their mother and their father. True, true, true. Which is almost like his age, not my age, his age. Yeah. So, because, <laughs> yo, I'm 27, you know what I mean? Uh, so Definitely. My homie is young. Yeah, I stay young, Archie. You forever know? young. So I mean, it's like you know, and that's the thing. Like DJs, like real DJs, do their research. They, and, and, and you're not like you're not like a hype DJ or no. a TikTok DJ no. or like a, you know, like you just came in like just after COVID. Now you you popping yeah. everywhere and whatever. But it's more so like the real DJs, and I love like you know the craze, like DJ Craze, true, DJ true. DJ A Track. That's our school. Yes, sir. that's our that's our mentors. Yeah, those are the people we look up to. Right? right, you know, that's our mentors, and they and they and they play it like different, like. A DJ Craze can take it through a, a drum and bass set exactly. to a house set, bring it from hip hop. I seen him twice, exactly. and both times he amazed me. Like, Always. and it's and you just like, God damn. Then we gotta speak about like our Ready D's, of course, our DJ Azuls, of course. And you just gotta be like, yo, like, yo, these guys are doing in their old age. They gray and shit. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know. Like, th- then also there was the generation after them, which is the Zandies, right? The Sea Lives, you know. Right. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Also, right. they're still representing everybody, you know what I'm saying? And, in, in, I mean, the question right now is, is DJing just a, is it a phase for people? Is it a, is it a, monop- is it like a, is it a novelty? Here's my thing. Gimmicks have always existed. Yeah. Through, through DJing, there's always been gimmicks. Yeah, let's give you know some claps saying? for that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Saying? Gimmicks, a- gimmicks, and we've had fucking, uh, we've had that crew, we've had that white crew, what's his name? Not cop. Yeah, what yeah, was yeah. it first called? Uh, Lahua. Lahua, yes. Lahua, and then, <laughs> right? Then, <laughs> and he was a quiet bro and he was killing yeah, it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we had uh, Pitch Black. True. But he killed but, it. But though. Pitch Black could rap. Oh, he's the first artist to go platinum in South yeah. Africa. No, 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 yeah. Well, not first, but first in uh, urban genre, yes, quieto yes, 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 and hip hop, right? Yeah. Uh, who else was the gimmick? The Zegaze. Yeah. 
Right. Even in DJing, man, there's been people come and go. That's Yo. why I'm never, I'm never afraid of somebody coming through and doing whatever the gimmick is. Right. It's like, yo, man, I'm gonna keep working in my lane, cause. Right. And, and and I think you know, like us who've been here for like you know over a decade, yeah. we sort of look at the thing and we're like, yo, man, DJing is is just on another level. And how do we, how do we elevate? Because me, every January, my, my my boys know I've taught them something new. Like, yeah. in January, it's reinvention time. Of course. Because the, it's how you set yourself up for the year. Mm-hmm. And true. and some people are like, nah, I'll just do the same thing I did last year. It's like, bro, it's not gonna work. Yeah, it's no. it's we're, we're on a hundredth episode and we're in a fucking caravan. A beautiful caravan. Yo, shout out, to, shout out to shout out to the brief box way. and shout out to Basho. We're in a fucking caravan. Yeah. It's like we're on radio, but not on radio. Exactly. We're on the internet radio. We're on the YouTube radio. This right? is the radio for the streets. Right, hundred you know? percent. Yo, I wish you could take this caravan everywhere and have drinks and do all our shit. Next time we'll hotbox the caravan and we invite the right people no, soon, along. Soon come, soon come. Soon come, right? Yeah, soon come, man. <laughs> but yo, man, uh, shout out to you. Shout out to Open Format, the team, the crew. Thank you very much. Uh, Jabba Joe, what a fire set. Thank you very yo, much. Yo, and you, and you debuted out at uh, Jazz Fest, right? Um, I, yeah, I, I did my debut at Jazz Fest this year, which was pretty amazing, man, which was very fun, you know? Um, yeah, I, I don't know what to say about it because it was an experience And, and it's, it's crazy because even after so much time, you're still getting butterflies. You're still getting like, yo, did I really go perform there? Yeah, my thing is, if you don't get nervous before you play, yo, that means you ain't there anymore. That's what's Just up. That's, the game. that's what I say too. Like, you know, if you're not there and you're not getting butterflies, it's, yeah. it it feels like you're just DJing like yeah. at a normal place. Then ah, I'll, you're not I'll, DJing. I'll be honest with you, man. For me, DJing, all I ever wanted was to take care of my girls. I never wanted to be rich. I never want. I just want to take care of my girls. That's. That's what DJ. That's interesting. Yeah, because I I love DJ. It's not a thing where I'm, like that's the money comes with the game. Right. And I'm not looking I mean, for the money. It's just in the beginning I wasn't worried about my bills. Fuck. Exactly. I just wanted to fucking scratch. You know I wanted to DJ. Yeah. I wanted to be seen in front of people, just like what DJ is doing today. Yeah. But and then I find a a bit I find a sense of purpose. Yes. Which has put me on switch right now. Thank you. Yeah. Right. So and you know we spoke to, uh, to Solo earlier on. And he was also saying, like, you know, a yeah. sense of purpose uh, it starts defining your journey in this entertainment space. Yeah. And a lot of the people we see now will start finding, they're going to start finding their, their yeah. purpose. Yeah. And it might not be to be the quick DJ that came off TikTok, yeah. off, off YouTube, of whatever. And that's okay because you're still, on, you, you, you know, you're like an infant. Exactly. You, you know, you, you're starting to crawl. Yeah. And when the shit gets real, when, when promoters don't pay you no more, Hey. When you're chasing for your money, hey. when they're not booking you no hey. more, and it's like, how do you come up with something new? Exactly. And you got to be smart, and that's where, like festivals like this, and how they incubate uh, artists into their program. Exactly. Uh, you from the you from the program, right? Or uh, you know, know about the program? I, I know about the program. Right. Yeah, yeah. I'm, what, not, I'm not in the program, but I know about the program. Uh, yes, my thing about it is the development of artists is always a great thing, which is something that's missing always right, uh, right now. Right. That's why some people might complain that yo hip hop or music might not be in a great space. But it's like yo, to create a Michael Jackson, to create a, such a, an iconic artist, it takes time, it's sure. development. You need to invest in the artist, you know, and just picking artists, just picking people because they popular. On the media, yes. Or they got Instagram numbers. Yeah, and it's like <laughs> cool. It, it, it works with DJ. You gotta develop yourself. Yeah. You gotta go through the opening set. You gotta pay your dues, bro. Yeah, you gotta go. You, you gotta first go listen. You gotta play for no. You gotta play for no one. Exactly. And no. then play for the drunkards at the end. Exactly. Yo, even, no, no disrespect. Respectfully. Yeah. You have you're drunk because you're having a good time. Yeah. Right. And my thing is, is like if you can't play in an empty joint. You can never play for full joint. Exactly. If you don't know how yo, it is. Yo, that's the, that's the boss right there. Yeah, that's like, the boss. Yo, we got to do a DJ round table on Put Me On Switch. Like, yo, we got to do a serious one. But yo, we're going to make You got to do the podcast, man. Yeah, we got to we gotta do like... I mean, we're seeing the, the podcast overseas, but we're going to do a South African one. Definitely. We got to mix it up with I'm a piano, like Everybody. current piano, current hip hop, and just talk up and just flesh it out. So, yeah. so people can see like, yo, this thing is not a, a competition, yeah. even though the leverage comes off hip hop always. Exactly. But yo, it is what it is. Jabba Joe in the building. Appreciate you Al-Jay very much, Uhuru. Love you, my brother. Thank you very much. Shout out to everybody tuning in. Yo, make sure you like, subscribe, follow. Do the right thing. Make sure you also check out Open Format. It happens every week. We don't know where it is, but move. Check them out. We'll probably drop the link at the bottom. Tabang. We'll give them the, the, the strap. Yeah, Open Format. 
we'll give them open format make sure you check them out every week they're somewhere somehow playing the dopest joints if you want to just educate yourself on nice music cultured music brand new music old music whatever music we'll see you on the next one let's get it Hi guys, this is Nobi. Um, I'd like to give a special shout out to Put Me On Switch podcast by DJ Switch. And congratulations for hitting 100 episodes. <laughs> yes, sir, yes, sir. We're hanging out with uh, our first lady for the evening. Yay! I'm always the first woman. Really? Yeah, first woman to win the summer in 27 years, first woman to this, first woman to that. So I'm happy to be the first woman on your show today. I hope you're the first woman in that guy's life too. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately not. I'm at that age where I can't be the first woman in men's hey, life. <laughs> come on now, come on. We're hanging out with none other than Holly Ray. Yo, your performance. Come on now. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yo, you got some classics. People were just like, yo, we haven't heard this shit in a minute. Yeah, no, no, no. This, that was the crowd's amazing here. Yeah, the vibe is good, yeah. right? It's my first time um, performing at Con Hill. So, oh, really? Yeah, it was really exciting that's to cool. perform that's here. Cool. Vibes were amazing. So, yeah, really excited about it. What does freedom mean to you? I think for me, freedom, that's such a broad statement. Like, it what is, does freedom mean to you? Yeah, but I, I think, mean, in, in our current economy, it's yeah. not so exciting. Um, I think for me, the most important thing as a creative is creative freedom. Um... I mean, obviously, in the grander scheme of things, um, freedom of rights, freedom, all of that is really, really important. But as a creative in 2024, um, I think creative freedom, creative license is really important to me. Um, I've had to fight really hard to be in the space that I am, not just as, yeah, as a woman in the industry that I'm in, especially in the dance scene, and to be an independent woman in the dance scene. Let's not get, let's, wait, 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 let's not forget the fact that you're also coming from like our. Let's look at our demographics. Yeah. Right? Like you're fighting in a space where now you're making music for our majority of our country, right? Which yeah. Is a, our black people out there. <laughs> yes, sir. But also you're making it because you understand our culture of, and because for you're sure. South African. Yeah. I mean, I've been going, I always tell the story like the first time I went to Kwa Max in Umlazi, I was 15. What? And that's when I fell in love with house music. So, what? I Umlazi, got that band. Yeah, Umlazi stand up. I'm a Durban girl, born and bred. But you're so, Josie, yeah. why are why? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Yo, and, and, and the thing is, we've seen, and, and look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be the advocate of the devil's advocate. Yeah. Um, we've got a lot of artists that are, are bridging the gap to say like, hey, we are South African. Yeah. As a white, as a Caucasian, as a whatever. And we're bridging the gap because the, we are South African. We're African. Yeah, for sure. Right? And we're not going to conform to jumping to okay let's go make pop music because Kylie Minogue's making it because Madonna's yeah. making it and because I'm blonde and I fit the box no for sure right I just had to tick them off but you yeah, got yeah, it yeah yeah I got it <laughs> <laughs> so you and, and I listen to your set you, 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 you're hitting the the pop you're hitting the p- piano now yeah little bits just a little bit also all the piano songs that I do are features right so there's a major league feature there Aye. there's a T-man feature so I haven't myself <laughs> listen to the bass killing us but anyway <laughs> so I haven't myself made on my piano yet uh, um, guys yeah. we're in 100 episodes and we got major people here <laughs> with me by the way, it's our 100th episode on Put Me On Switch. Oh, yay! I get to be on the 100th episode. That's right. But Major League? Yeah, yeah. Yo. I actually just worked on them for the... Oh, gosh. That bass is basing. It's basing hard, then, eh? It's basing hard. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. You continue to do your thing. Okay. We're controlling it. That's why I'm a DJ. That's why I'm here. Yeah, so I've just done a new track with them that will be releasing soon as well. So. And they just did a song with Wiz Khalifa. Yeah, they're amazing. And they're such nice guys as well. Like, I'm going to ask you a very tricky question. Yes. How do you feel about our hip hop situation in South Africa because we are now the yo we're like the black sheep of South African music right now and people are saying like yeah, yeah. hip hop artists don't want to jump on piano and their Wiz Khalifa jumps on major league track I think look I've never really been a hip hop head the hip hop I listen to is very old school sort of like I listen to like 50 Cent and like old ha! school Tupac like, yeah you gangster uh, yeah so I don't uh, really guys, listen to new school Holy Race gangster much. guys Tupac, <laughs> I'm a 50 cents. And I listen to a lot of like battle rap and that kind of stuff. So Oh, you're gonna be able to spit some rhymes here. That's what I should No, up. I can't spit rhymes. No, I can watch it. And uh, yeah, but I can't spit rhymes. No, that's the widest thing. At about least like me. a Baba Black Sheep. No. <laughs> I always say the widest p- thing about me is that I can't spit rhymes. Vincy Vincy Spider? Went up the water spot. <laughs> <laughs> Right? And then it came um, back down and said, yeah. What up, mother suckers? 
But I think what's really exciting about hip hop, the hip hop that I'm sort of, or new gen hip hop that I'm listening to, is hip hop that's become really sort of like Afrocentric. Right. Um, you look at guys like Strava. Um, they're really incorporating uh, what Afro South African culture into Home pop ground. music. Yeah. Home ground music, yeah. And I think that's where the gap is, and that's where it needs to be bridged. But again, I'm not a hip hop head. I'm not a right. a pro on this topic. But I really think that's where. For me, where the sweet spot of hip hop is at the moment, I totally agree with you because you know I always tell like up and coming artists because that's what our show's about. Yeah. And I tell them like, hey man, you know you gotta you gotta you gotta start going back home. Yeah, and, and I think authenticity. Yeah. Like I always say like it's so important to be authentic, no matter what genre you do. Yeah. Because the audience can see through. They can like see through you. Fake yeah. Immediately, if you're trying to be American with your pseudo, yeah, man, yeah, man. <laughs> Like hey, no it's one just likes the vibe, though. Come on, you can leave that in though. the '90s. <laughs> Yo, man, come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Instant who's, ick. Who's, who's your favorite hip hop artist? South Africa. Yeah, let's go for South Africa. Or internationally. Both. Um, internationally, I probably I can listen to a lot of Tupac, but I feel like everyone says that. Yeah, you're gangster, for real gangster. But like, I straight feel up like that's like my jam. Uh, South Africa. <laughs> I used to I listen to a lot of Double HP. Really? Uh, yeah, hey, I got to R.I.P. Man. Once, so, and Damn. just he's an amazing person. And, Shout out, yo! We've got to yeah. put the claps on there, motherfucker, right there. We, we normally have our, our, our virtual audience out here. Oh, our virtual audience is out there in front of the stage right yeah, now. Yeah, well, you killed them already, but we're in a <laughs> caravan right now. You know what I mean? Holly Ray, you such a blessing to South Africa um, because you've just you've just dived into um, our aesthetics dive into what we believe in who we are uh not discriminating but also because you just home bread just you're just being who you. i am right and, <laughs> I th- and i think you know people can take a page out of your book and be like yo i gotta be like that girl sometime and and, and that's and that's cool because i mean you got you got some radio hits that's still playing you got you got a radio hit with kent right with did you get a one with kent no 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 the so one my biggest hit is deeper yeah and that's gone 12 times multi-platinum now should we uh, exit? Should we exit now? <laughs> and we then exit? you is nine times. Should we exit? Uh, <laughs> you said 12 times. Yeah, multi platinum. So multi platinum is three times. So then 12 times three. What is what is the new. Ge- what is the new. Because look, here's the, here's the fact. The, the, the fad is right. We, we, I'm a, we, we're pianoing yeah. left, right, and center. And the vocalists are coming in. Do you consider yourself as a vocalist or a singer? I don't. I consider myself a musician. As a musician? I play multiple instruments. I'm a producer. Really? I, oh, yeah. shit. So I don't consider yeah, you myself put, you know, a vocalist a lot of claps on this shit. at all. <laughs> so, so, so I want to ask you, right? Um, a lot of people come into the game right now because they use it as, as an escape code because of where they come from, their life. Yeah. It's like, yo, I can sing and, and I sing in the bathroom and I think I can really be a great vocalist. Yeah. And if I can just make this song with a with a top tier uh, piano producer yeah. and then I'll be and I'll be gone just like yeah. with any hip hop artist who wants to become a top tier hip hop artist they use their story as a an, as, as an escape goat yeah as so much like and, and I said it with a lot of respect because I get these DMs all the time yeah and I'm sure you also get it like uh, please help me out I'm, I'm, I'm struggling and it's like yo like I paid my dues Are you, when are you going to pay your dues for sure and you know what is it what does it take to be someone who's now multi-platinum times 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 if you do multiplication <laughs> you understand what's going on right now right um and we're not we, we're getting it there but the vocalist is not gonna have a sustainable career yeah so how do I they sustain it for me it's something i fought against my entire career being a female in the industry we're always labeled as vocalists so we're called into a session with a producer we sing on the track and then it gets released and it's dj somebody featuring don't say somebody r.i.p somebody but oh no i don't mean somebody i mean like dj <laughs> sorry i had to throw that in it a switch okay for yeah, example, yeah that's right that's right that's right featuring holly ray and then that's coming dj the switch blows up DJ Switch gets all the gigs, gets all the bookings, and the vocalist has paid 500 around a show just for her transport. And she never really gets the exposure that she needs. So for me, it's always been a really important narrative to change that. Um, and that's why when I was 21, I started my own record label. I left Soul Candy and started my own record label. Sheesh. And even though I don't believe in record labels, so I'm the only artist signed to my label. 
but I help other female artists set up their own labels, get distribution deals, I'll set, like, set all of that up for them. So they can own their music, they can own their rights, own their creating, like their IP. Um, fire, so for fire. me, that's really important. That's and, so dope. Yeah, changing the narrative. Like, we're not vocalists. I hate the term vocalist. I also, I, that's, and, and that's what always challenge someone is like, no, I'm a vocalist. No. Like, bro, or, or like, lady. Lady, like, girl. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you got, it's the same like saying, like, I'm an artist. Are you a painter artist? Or like, are yeah. you like, a, are you a musician when you say, like you said, I can produce, I can play instruments. Yeah. Like, that's a musician. Yeah. That's when you're coming out. We had solo early on. He was playing on, on a bass guitar. I just bass, came back. Yeah. And it's like, that is a musician. When yes. you start learning to play keys, like, that's musician. Yeah. When people say, no, I'm an artist. I'm like, what are you, a painter? Exactly, yeah. And it's Because a lot of terms get so loosely used. Yeah. And then people then think, well, if I become a vocalist, mm. if I become an artist, then I'm in the entertainment industry. Yeah. But yet, you know, you had to pay your dues. You had to fight through everything. Yes, you come from a big label. Soul Candy, shout out to Soul Candy. They, they brought up a lot of house no, they artists. they yeah. They brought up a lot of us artists. So they, they, they chime in for time here. We're having such a good conversation. And time it's like... Time for man. Or woman. <laughs> or woman. Or woman. <laughs> right? And it's like, it's, those are the things that we are misconstruing. For sure. In the entertainment industry in South Africa. I'm an artist. I'm a vocalist. I'm a, I don't know what, I'm a DJ. Yeah. I think also just commenting on that, very rarely do we call male musicians or male artists vocalists. Right. Very rarely. Right. But we're always calling female, female vocalists. artists vocalists. Right. So that's a narrative. A, the voice of the heavenly sent angels. Do you know what I'm mean like god sent us here for a reason right hey woman's <laughs> mother's coming yo <laughs> holly ray shout out to everybody that's on your team shout out to you shout out to you for being uh you know a torch bearer and uh, keep doing what you're doing we Thank love you. you we appreciate you to so people don't know holly ray you better go check out her shit you're gonna be surprised it's times times <laughs> times 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 Guys, this is the first time we've had it times, 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 times <laughs> on, our, on our show. Times the bass as well. Times the bass too, <laughs> right? Uh, we're coming to live from uh, Basha Uhuru. We're not live. Well, we're live. When you see this, it won't be live. But we're coming to live and it's happening. This Everything is happening out there. We've got artists coming on stage straight into Caravan. It's called the Brief Box. And yo, we might go around the country with this damn caravan. We never know. We might we hotbox really should. it. We might even hotbox it one day. Oh God, no! Please don't. But yo, me. this is a fa- it's, you know, it's a family show <laughs> apparently. <for Holly. laughs> yeah, I said keep the Hennessy on that side of the table. <laughs> Here we go. Shout out to everybody. Yo, we still got Nadi Nakai coming. That's right. Let's get it.